my goal of the year predictions for 2023. The finalists are in. We have got three fantastic players, Will Oshcroft, Paul Curtis, and Dan Houston. Oh. Ashcroft out of mid-air. Oh, oh, you are kidding me. Will Ashcroft, Brisbane. From the kick. That is ridiculous. Well, he's just run himself a car. That is goal of the year. Plays on with Paul the Curtis, the North area. Melbourne. Mark, he's got a couple to beat. Campbell's at the fall of the ball. Shields tries to grab it off him. Curtis does grab it off him. Fox grabs him. Curtis gets away. Gets away from Blakey. Lines it up from the pocket. Oh, that's as good as you'll see. My prediction for 2023 has got to go to Will Ashcroft. What a goal it was. Absolutely superb. Absolutely zero chance that could have gone in, but somehow found a way. My mark of the year predictions for 2023. The finalists are in, and here are the clips. Ash Johnson. Johnson! He's looking at the scoreboard. He's in pain, but he's not sore enough. That's for the height on the wing. A massive leap from Harry Himmelberg. Harry Himmelberg, first mark. Stands to attention and drags down a magnificent mark. Bangs it on the left boot. Oh, ho, ho. That is a Himmelberg special. Harry Himmelberg, second mark. His opponent falls over, Denver grains a brass. Let's Himmelberg run over a free jump at it. My prediction for 2023, as much as I'd love it to give to Ash Johnson, I think Harry Himmelberg's first mark he took in round one against Adelaide was definitely the best and one of the best I've seen in a while. He got up so high and was up there for quite a bit as well. Brownlow medal predictions, I'll be going through my uh, top three um, contenders for the Brownlow this year. Um, I thought I'd make it a little bit interesting and make the video a little bit longer by throwing in um, two other uh, contenders for it um, as my second and third for the Brownlow. Um, I do think there are quite a number of players that could get close um, into this top three. It's why I do think it will be very, very close. And uh, I've actually got four players um, in this top three, um, two of them equal. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't exactly gone through every single game and, like, you know, counted every single, um, you know, votes. But um, I've certainly looked at other people's and the AFL's um, for, for a bit of advice, you know, just to... You know, take a look and, uh, you know, see what they're like and stuff like that. Um, other people's Brownlows, um, other YouTubers as well. So, yeah, I do think it'll be interesting. And in third spot, uh, I've got Nick Dacos, obviously. I would love him to win the Brownlow, but it's just not going to happen um, now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just too difficult for him to win the Brownlow just because of that last month injury. Um, but otherwise would have easily would have won the Brown though in my opinion and I would have loved him to um, uh, You know um, Win that win um, the Brown though, but uh, he's obviously not going to now or It would be very very difficult. And I would be highly surprised if he did win um, In second it's a bit harder And I do have an equal one and my equal is Marcus Bonton Pally and Lockie Neal I do think the Bont probably does deserve to win out of all of these players. Um, but I just don't have him quite getting enough votes. Um, Lockie Neal as well, not quite enough to secure his second Brown though in four seasons. Uh, he's been absolutely superb this year as well. But yeah, just not quite uh, reeling in enough votes uh, for those two. Um, that's why I've got them in second. I do think the Bont probably deserves it. But uh, you know... Uh, maybe not uh, this year for the Bond. Um, he'll have to try again. And, you know, he's gotten very, very close a number of times and arguably should have won it in 2021. And Lockie Neal obviously did win it in 2020. Um, now, my actual Brownlow prediction for this season. My Brownlow prediction, it goes to Zach Butters from the Port Adelaide Football Club. He has been a gun all year. He definitely deserves it. 
um, had an amazing patch from around round four to five all the way to round 14 where he probably polled every every single maybe like vote for the power that was like in this whole three it was phenomenal um yeah he was absolutely superb all year absolutely fantastic midfield gun um can push forward um did drop off he had a bad you know month or so um when port adelaide weren't exactly going so well but when port adelaide were going really really well he certainly was one of the best players this year and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned uh, for more videos coming out uh, very soon on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.